creating a new travel video series. I will share the best, least known motorcycle rides in North Carolina that will leave you breathless and make you itching to hit the road. From winding mountain passes to scenic coastal routes, get ready to explore some of the best kept secrets in the Tar Heel State. So grab your helmet, rev up your engine, and let's uncover the hidden secrets of North Carolina together. As always, let's ride. Buckle up, Buttercup, because we're about to dive headfirst into North Carolina's winding and twisting North Carolina 209, better known as the Rattler. Whether you're a seasoned rider or someone who just likes to take the scenic route while clenching your handlebars for dear life, this stretch of highway is packed with the thrills, spills, and sweeping curves your little biker heart could ever want. So here's the deal, North Carolina 209 kicks off near Lake Junaluska. If you're unfamiliar with it, just picture a peaceful lake surrounded by mountains. Compared to the semi-urban sprawl you're about to leave behind. Don't get too comfortable though, this is where the fun begins. Hit exit 104 off the Great Smoky Mountain Expressway, better known as US 74. You'll follow the Pigeon River north for a few miles, which sounds serene, but it's just your warm up. In about three and a half miles in, you'll cross I-40 at exit 24. This is another spot for the geographically challenged to jump on and off the ride. Think of it as your last chance to bail before things get interesting. Once you cross over I-40, the road starts to stretch his legs. I know what you're thinking, this is gonna be easy. But hold that thought. The road rolls out through farmlands, lulling you into a false sense of security. With its wide, gentle curves and that open, look at me, I'm in the mountains kind of view. The valley starts to narrow, which is your cue that the road is about to punch you in the gut, in the best way possible, of course. You hit a long, gradual climb up and over your first hump. Think of it as the gateway to the real deal. The road dips down into a quaint little place called Fines Creek. Sounds cute, right? Well, this is where things start getting tricky. When you hit the bottom of this first hill, keep your eyes peeled for Ferguson Supply Store. Here you can stop, take photos of the Rattler sign, and purchase souvenirs of your trip. The sharp right turn, it's your ticket to the next section of this ride. And trust me, you don't want to miss it, unless you like getting lost in the middle of nowhere. Once you made that turn, it's smooth sailing for the next one and a half miles. You're just cruising along a peaceful road, probably feeling pretty good about life. Maybe you're thinking about your next Instagram post, but don't really relax too much because here comes the first twisty climb over the mountain. Here's where things get spicy. You'll want to hang on tight as the road starts winding up and over the mountain. The curves are sharp, making you think, I should have stretched my neck before this. But it's worth it because as you snake your way through forested slopes and locational homes, the views start to peek out between the trees. However, this is not the time to start gawking at the scenery. Seriously, stay focused. Gravel loves to hang around these curves like it has nothing better to do. For the next four and a half miles, it's just you, the road, and a bunch of sharp turns that will make your palms sweat. Congratulations, you have just survived the mountain. And now, you're on the descent into another valley. The road follows a winding stream, and as you run a curve, boom, you're in trust. Yep, that's actually the name of this place. It's like the road telling you, trust me, the ride's not over yet. At this point, you've had your fair share of twists and turns, and you're probably dreaming of a long straight road. Well, lucky you, that's a long stretch coming up. But, like all good things in life, it's brief. As you glide through Spring Valley on this long stretch, take a deep breath. You earned it. For the moment, the road feels peaceful. No crazy twists, no sharp turns, just you, the wide open valley, and the sense that this ride isn't so bad after all. But remember, this is North Carolina 209, not just any ride in the park. The road soon tightens up, winding and twisting alongside a stream for several more miles. Just when you think your arms are gonna fall off from gripping those handlebars, a sharp hairpin turn jumps out to remind you who's boss. This is where the road rears its ugly, beautiful head again. The last stretch of North Carolina 209 begins. If you think things were challenging before, buckle up for the grand finale. This last section of North Carolina 209 snakes its way through the National Forest. It's packed with sharp, tight, technical turns that'll make even the most seasoned rider sit up and pay attention. You'll find yourself dropping into second gear more than once, especially in those gnarly hairpin turns where gravel loves to live. And oh yeah, there are a couple of unpaved overlooks along the way if you're brave enough to take your eyes off the road. But good luck finding one without gravel. Finally, 
After what may feel like a lifetime of twists, turns, and loose gravel, you roll into historic hot springs. This little town is like an oasis in the middle of your motorcycle journey. There are a few great places to grab a bite to eat and sit for a minute to stop your legs from trembling. And hey, if you're into hiking, the 2,000 mile Appalachian Trail runs right through the town. Maybe you'll see a few marathon hikers trudging along and you'll say, I'm glad I'm not walking. On weekends, Hot Springs is buzzing with fellow bikers who've made the pilgrimage from Asheville, Tennessee, and beyond. If you got the time, and after that ride, you should make the time. Check out the Hot Springs Spa. Soak in the natural hot springs that gave the town its name and let all those curves melt away from your muscles. So there you have it, North Carolina 209, a road that gives as much as it takes. Sure, it'll challenge you with sharp curves, surprise gravel, and enough twists to make you question your life choices. But at the end of the day, when you're sitting in hot springs with a burger in one hand and a cold drink in the other, you look back at those 33 miles of madness and think, I did it. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Also, share with your family and friends. Don't forget to check out this next video and I'll see you there.